from the files of Police Squad movie review. Frank Drebin is a great cop. A hard ass cop. He is a bit clumsy though. He returns after an assignment in Beirut where he went to relax and finds that he has to foil an assassination attempt on Queen Elizabeth and he also gets this lead on someone who might be you know secretly transporting heroin and he has to investigate even if that someone is a very important businessman he meets this businessman's secretary and they fall so in love that they appear in every single montage scene ever put to film in Hollywood. This fits in basically all of the cliches from the, you know, hardball cop crime thriller genre. And also manages to just... The, the, the Zuckers understand how you make a good spoof movie. You know, they, they do a couple of different things that are very important. They, they vary their comedy, so you don't... It's not like just the same thing over and over as you sometimes see with you know, some more recent outings and spoofs. And they know that sometimes the funniest thing is that is, is to have only one element in a sequence be off. So that there, there is a huge contrast. Basically, almost everything is played straight. And people react the way that they would in real life. But there is just this one thing that is clearly off. In the in the sequence that that makes for some great gags in this, and the sometimes it quite follows our expectations, and I'm not sure if it's just that. And I think sometimes when you know sometimes comedy can be great even when it just follows our expectations and basically. You can, you can essentially tell where a bit is going, and it, it just, you know, proceeds there. I mean, maybe you can't tell all the steps along the way, but when you see Frank Drebin, having been established as being very clumsy, be in the office of the bad guy, who we know we have to hate, and who, who we do hate, and he's told this fish is very rare and very expensive. This pen is priceless. And it's, you know, it, the only thing that could possibly destroy it is water. You know how the two are going to be combined, but it is still hilarious to watch that actually unfold. And yes, we do get the, you know, something is going on behind another character's back kind of scene. And, again, it's just, a lot of it is just also that the material is fantastic. They really thought up some great gags and jokes. The, I'd say also part of what helps is that it actually basically sort of has a plot. And, again, you know, something that I've seen more recent spoofs you know, kind of mess this up and not really have a plot, not really have something to connect the gag, so it's just a series of gags. And then it really stands or falls on, are the gags any good? I think this one would work without a story, but I do feel that it strengthens it. Because, you know, when you're watching this really clumsy guy, you know... Yeah, watching him do partake in a lot of slapstick, you know, somewhere in you there is still this yearning to see him sort of succeed, and so you keep watching just kind of, you know, 
And yeah, we, we do want the good guy to succeed, we want the bad guy to burn, you know. It works. And I think that's about it for what there is to say. Just really, really funny spoof. You know, definitely still holds up. Although, you know, I suppose there might be a dated joke or two, but actually I'm not entirely sure there are. I, yeah, I found everything, pretty much everything in this really funny. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.